Hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. And today, a quick video about some of the unintended consequences of the latest $2 trillion. So I guess I should say I've, I'm hearing it's $2 trillion plus um, as the amount continues to keep growing. But as you're probably already aware by now, Trump signs $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus bill after swift passage by the House. Um, this came out late last week. Uh, and one thing that I will point out here, it seems like the only thing that politicians can agree on is when to make a spending bill larger. This started as $850 trillion, maybe two weeks ago. It was up to a trillion by the end of the day. Now is two trillion. Um, here, there's a lot of banking subsidies and other not so nice stuff in there. But we'll leave that aside for today because what I really wanted to touch on here, interesting article. Fitch warns USA's AAA rating at risk of near-term negative action. Now, on one hand, I mean. <laughs> A little overdue. Even S&P finally downgraded the U.S.'s AAA rating back in 2011. Again, keep in mind, this was when the Tea Party was putting up a fight against just raising the debt ceiling every time it comes up. Um, of course, uh, the debt ceiling has just been <laughs> raised every time it's come up over the last nine years. And I mean, my smart ass comment is that it's kind of bizarre that if you put a triple a rating on us debt, you're essentially saying it's simply impossible to have a better credit profile than that of what the us is running so um the fact that fitch is considering a downgrade again a bit overdue yet perhaps even more interesting i was surprised to see this um here is the usa five-year sovereign cds which actually spiked quite a bit up to uh looks like 24 basis points i believe that is what that's measured in there um is, is it surprising when the federal reserve is running a hyperinflation campaign i would say no um now quick look over here not easy to find credit default swap pricing Although here it looks like even despite that uh, spike up, which uh, was mid-March, that it's come back in. Uh, and you can see in July of 2017, it was pretty high as well. So, you know, is Fitch going to downgrade the U.S.? Uh, does it in reality matter? I suppose... Uh, possibly is the answer to the first one no to the second one although all of the uh if you actually take a look through this article some of the assumptions supported by structural strengths that include the size of the economy uh as if you've been watching this channel for a while you know that most of the perceived signs of economic strength in my opinion are coming from all of the money printing try removing that see what happens uh, as we've seen, they won't do that, and their amounts that they print just keep getting bigger and bigger. So, anyway, interesting article on Zero Hedge. Fitch warns of USA rating. You can go take a look through it. Uh, <laughs> one last comment. I can't resist. The stimulus package has yet to be officially assessed for its budget impact, but at a conservative estimate, the federal fiscal deficit will rise to over 13%. Um, yes, that's what I've been pointing out, not to try and belittle coronavirus, but all this money has to come from somewhere. It's likely going to be printed, probably could use a term stronger than likely. I guess that's the only option, um, which again is why we talk so much about gold and silver, because I don't see any end to the money printing in sight. But with that said, hit the subscribe button. And we will keep you posted on all these fascinating things going on. So you can stay ahead of Wall Street and the curve and all that other good stuff. And with that said, if you're curious of why this is all happening, have another video coming your way right here. The land.